Hello friends, welcome to Beta and this is Mohit over here. Are you bored and tired of your old Android smartphone which has not received any updates in a while and you want to taste the latest Android 13 or the Android 12 on your Android smartphone and also the security patch is pretty outdated. So for all these reasons, custom OS ROM can be a solution for you and also it will give a different feel of your phone. So today we are going to install Pixel OS ROM which I feel is like one of the most balanced custom ROM out in the market now uh, on our Redmi Note 7 Pro. So Redmi Note 7 Pro is like one of the liked device when it was launched with great camera and overall performance. So let's test out how does this ROM perform on this and I will show you end to end video of how to unlock the bootloader, install the recovery and install the custom ROM on it. So let's begin with the video. Okay, so before moving ahead, if you're new to this channel and you like my content, then I would request you to subscribe and hit the bell icon because it may be free for you, but helps me immensely in getting motivated and getting such contents ready for you. And also I will be doing a giveaway of a smartwatch anytime soon. So if you're notified, then definitely you have a higher chance of getting it. All right. So now let's get into the process of flashing the custom ROM. Just but few things before that. Take a complete backup of your smartphone because once you unlock the bootloader, all your data will be gone. If you have a memory card in it, keep your memory card aside. Usually it is safe, the data is safe in that, but it's better to keep it aside. Next, be cognizant that the process can go wrong and your device can get bricked. So it's better to follow the process with patience and in order. Third thing, have make sure that you have a Windows laptop or a desktop and the cable that came along with the phone so that you don't face any issues. All right, without wasting any time, let's get into the process. So first, let me show you that we have MIUI installed in it and what is the version of it. So in about phone, we can see that it's 12.5, which was the pretty old MIUI version update, which I got on this. Uh, going back, I will have to click on MIUI version at least five to six times to turn on the developer options. It may take uh, more clicks as well. Uh, once it is turned on, you have to go inside the additional settings. There you can find the developer options. And here you have to turn on the OEM unlocking and then go inside MI unlock status. You have to add the account if you have not added already. So I've signed in as required, turned off the Wi-Fi, turned on the mobile data. But as you can see that it's giving me an error that connect to the internet and try again. So this error is happening because these devices are now outdated as per MIUI and they are not providing any support, be it even unlocking. So no worries, just go back, turn on the OEM unlocking, turn on the USB debugging. Uh, just wait for 10 seconds over here. And uh, let me try it one more time before actually proceeding. Uh, no, so no success as of now at, uh, what we will simply do is now we will put the phone in the, uh, fast boot mode. So just put the cable that has come along with this and put the other end in the laptop and then just turn off the phone. And now you can, to put it in the fast boot mode, just press the volume down and the power button for a few seconds and it will put the phone in the fast boot mode. So open your laptop's browser and search for MI unlock bootloader. Uh, the link that pops up over here, visit on the link as shown and then download the MI Unlock software from here. Extract the software, go inside the folder and then click on the exe file as shown over here. Now proceed with the normal sign-in of your MI account which you can do via an OTP or a normal sign-in with a password. I've already exhausted my OTP request that's 3 in a day. Now I have to wait for 24 hours for it to resume. But luckily I remember my password so I can use that and go ahead with the unlocking. Uh, it's checking if my MI account has a permission, but officially we have not placed any request because if you recall there was some uh, internet issue error that it was showing up and asking us to try again. So officially we are bypassing that step which usually requires seven days for us to wait. Uh, it's good that we don't have to wait and we can simply bypass the step and proceed with the unlocking. It just confirms that data will be lost and then it proceeds with unlocking. I've already unlocked the device. So here you will see that the device already unlocked and I did not uh, request an unlock again. But in your case, you can uh, click on unlock and if it doesn't happen in the first attempt, try at least two, three times and definitely it will unlock. Okay, so I've successfully unlocked the bootloader and now you can install any custom ROM that you wish to. But before that, you need to keep few things handy that, like the platform tools that you can download from the given website over here. Next, you have to download the custom ROM that you wish to install. In my case, I'm planning to install Pixel OS. 
and also the recovery for the same so here the pixel os has its own recovery and i would suggest to use that if you're using planning to install pixel os so in the archives folder you can find the pixel os uh, latest recovery as well and you can download the custom rom as well put this both these files inside the platform tools extracted folder so now go inside the folder of the platform tools and the first thing you need to do is rename the recovery file to this recovery.img you can keep it but yeah it makes it easier for the installation now launch cmd from by typing cmd in the search bar and type fastboot devices to check if your device is properly connected and type fastboot flash recovery space recovery.img to flash the recovery file to your phone uh, you might have to like repeat this process two three times because for the very first time when I installed the recovery, it was not showing up. It was again going with the MI recovery when I uh, rebooted it in the recovery mode. So you might have to do it two, three times maybe. Uh, and then just type fastboot reboot to recovery. So once you do that, then your phone starts up in the recovery mode successfully. So many times the device doesn't restart in the recovery mode. It simply boots up normally. So in that case, don't worry. Just simply use a different command that is ADB reboot recovery and the device should restart in the recovery mode so once you've successfully rebooted in the recovery of the pixel os then go ahead and click on factory reset here you should format the complete data so that there is no issue in the installation so once done just head back and click on apply update and select adb sideload as the method that is for now just move it back to your computer and we will proceed with the further commands now in the command prop type adb side load and then simply drag the custom rom zip file into the command prop this will simply paste the entire path of that zip file and you need not type it manually then just hit enter and now the flashing process has begun so just wait here it will complete it will take some good 15 20 minutes maybe uh, for the entire copy to be done and simply you can see in your mobile phone also the progress as it happens so as you capture the progress you see at the 47 mark the percentage seems to have stopped and it, it looks like that the update is not happening but don't worry the backend update is still in the progress and you as you track it on your smartphone screen you see that the update is going on so after some minutes it will directly jump to the 100 percent mark and as you see on your smartphone screen you see that the uh, the steps are being taken and eventually it gives you a message that the thing has completed with zero errors so simply reboot your phone and you're good to go if everything goes well then you will see the google logo appearing on your screen and that shows that you have successfully installed the custom rom on your redmi note 7 pro so that's all okay so here we are at the end of the video and if you have followed the entire process correctly then you will have a new custom os rom on your old android device it will definitely feel refreshing and fascinating to see a new look on your phone. Also, the right of the bat, I feel the ROM is pretty smooth. Uh, the apps are loading faster uh, and all the things are working fine. Like the security patch is updated, the fingerprint is working fine, the front sensors are working fine. And I was able to install the banking apps on it without any security issues. So overall, the app looks pretty stable and good for day-to-day -day use. But I will list out the entire box once I use it exhaustively. Also, if you're stuck anywhere in the process, then feel free to comment so that I can guide you with whatever resources I have. So that's all for flashing Pixel OS ROM on Redmi Note 7 Pro. And once again, I'm reminding you to subscribe to the channel because I will be doing a giveaway soon. So if you hit the bell icon, then definitely you will be notified and you have a higher chance of winning. Till then, bye-bye and take care.